set it. Recorder age. Stop. Pause. 845 at settings. Okay. Button. Speech off. So I've boiled the jug and I'm going to make coffee and breakfast and whinge and all that sort of shit at the same time. So, um, yeah. to ring up VA Bloody Brisbane and fucking get volume 1 of Exit Wounds because I've got volume 2, 3, 4 and 5 but not volume 1. Ah, oh, shit. I meant to be doing that. I find it much easier now to boil the jug and then while I'm doing that, I could be getting dressed and a few other things because um, it takes about nearly 10 minutes to boil a jug. If it's a small amount of water, it's about three or four minutes or something, right? But I just fill the jug up and I boil the bloody thing. And um, that's what I do. The bin. It's only a little bit left anyway. Um, so yeah, I uh, boil the jug and do other things while it's boiling because I don't want to be making coffee and the jug's boiling and it's very loud and it's just shit. So uh, I do other things now. I uh, yeah. And then when I hear that the jug's nearly boiled, I make me coffee and uh, that's how what happens. Oh, that's enough milk. I don't want too much milk. people that say pour your coffee quickly and it will stir up automatically well I don't believe in that if you're going to be lazy and not use a spoon just so you can hurry up and pour your cup of coffee really fast then I think something's wrong in life get out a bloody teaspoon put it into the cup when you make your coffee and when you're done mix the bloody thing don't be lazy that's how I see it. Oh well. Nobody else would think that way because nobody really cares. Oh well. It doesn't really matter. Well. Um, what else have I got to say? Um, My friend is going off to the doctors this morning and I'll be taking The Hobbit. The Hobbit. I'm finally reading The Hobbit after all these years of not understanding it. I'm finally reading it from start to finish. And I've got to ring up V8 and get volume one of the wounds because it ain't here. cocoa pops today. I don't want a lot, I just want some. Just enough. I don't want too much, just some. A lot of 
cocoa pops. The other thing I did, you'll be happy to know, I got rid of a cleaning service which I wasn't satisfied with. with. They're called Red Mop. Initially I thought they were good. Initially I thought they were fantastic. Then I found a problem with the cleaner that I didn't like. Didn't like him at all. So he's gone. They were going to put in another cleaner. But I am ignoring that email. I don't want another cleaner from Red Mop. I don't like their unprofessional service. I don't like how they gaslight their clients. For example, they do something wrong and then they blame the client for doing something wrong when the client may or may not have done something wrong. But they don't investigate both sides, you know, the client and the cleaning service. They just gaslight the clients by saying that they've done something that they don't remember. Which in some cases is true. In some cases. In some cases the client does something wrong and it's probably lack of memory or, or something going on. It does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't. What I am saying is that it's not okay to gaslight clients at the same time. You don't gaslight someone and say, oh, Stacy or Stephanie or whoever, as an example, oh, I doubt very much that the cleaner misplaced this item or didn't do the dishes properly or whatever. I doubt that very much. Well, it's not a doubt. It happened. And the Red Mop management who runs that service don't want to accept that clients have a right to complain. They have a right to have their unit cleaned. And they have a right to be heard. And the cleaners have a, a right to provide their side of the story. But they also have to be accountable to clients they go to. They have to be accountable. Because if they're not, I don't want them. What I like about Jim's cleaning is that when there's any mistakes or anything that goes wrong right, it doesn't turn into a shit fight. It just turns into, oh well, um, don't worry about my dishes, I'll do them. So Jim's cleaners, they just do what they need to do and clean the unit. Whereas Red Mop doesn't even clean properly. <coughs> um, and it's very stupid that they don't hold cleaners accountable for how they treat clients too, so... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's bullshit that when you make a complaint to Red Mop, they just say it didn't happen, it's not true. If they say we will replace products that were, you know, thrown away, they don't. They don't do anything they say. So I've got no reason to respond to the end of termination 
notice email with, oh, can you get me another cleaner? It's like, well, I don't want another cleaner. I don't like your services. Fuck off. Get lost. And yet, I am one of the types that if they have one really bad experience with the service, they must all be really bad. So I don't go back for that service anymore. I think Red Mop is very unprofessional. And I thought they were pretty good initially. And now I know. They are a shit service. And for anyone listening to this, You might initially think they're wonderful, they start out well. But as they come out regularly, you find a lot of shortcomings that you weren't expecting from them. They're the kind of company that you think, oh yeah, they've got a good start here. Initially, you know, they're okay, they'll be a good company, the staff are good. But as they keep coming back, you think, mm, I don't think so. They're that sort of company. They're really shit and they come out to give you a good impression of how good they are, but in reality, they're absolutely shit. Don't go with Red Mop. They're shit. They're no good. You know, how long does it take to go outside and throw something in a bin? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Got to go outside and sit in your car and have a smoke and have a, a few winks and a bit of a twiddle and then throw something in the bin and then come back inside? You're serious? You're there to clean, not smoke and twiddle and twipe. That's not what you're there for. You're there to clean. And two hour time frames. Too much. It doesn't take two hours to clean this unit. So, I've cut Red Mop out because they're no good. House Proud, they're promising, but I'm not prepared to wake up at 6 just so I can have my unit cleaned at 8 o'clock in the morning every, say, second Friday. Because Friday is my day of excursions, either with friends or Vision Australia or walking to the shops. Or anything like that. I reckon that um <clears throat> I reckon that some of these companies get into the NDIS 
because they know they can make money off people and rip everyone off. I think it's really bullshit that gyms cleaning is a great service and yet they can't even be NDIS approved. I mean, that's bullshit. And yet a really shitty fucking crappy organisation that has really shit staff gets approved by the NDIS. No, I can't understand that. I just can't fucking believe that organisations who get on the NDIS are really shit and the ones that aren't approved are actually very good. I know there are some really shitty companies as well, but... Yeah. Most of the NDIS... I mean, most of the... Uh, cleaning services who aren't NDIS approved are pretty bloody good and you think oh okay hmm, wonder what's going on there oh well <coughs> what am I meant to do what am I meant to think and I don't even have Oh, that's the other thing. I don't even have a newsletter from Vision Australia yet. Oh, shit. I meant to fucking do a fucking um, phone call to them too. Shit. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. Pause. Button. Speech off. Well, I don't know what's going on with VA today because they're not answering their fucking phone. Oh, I'm going to ring someone and then I'll be back. Speech off. Pause. Stop call. Minus three. Speech off. Well, that's weird. No one's, um, none of the staff from VA are answering the phones. I wonder what's going on today. <coughs> it is bloody, um, I thought, what date is day's date? Speech on. Message it. No. Rem- calendar. Friday, the 3rd of May. Friday, the 3rd of May. Netflix. Record. What's it? Twitch. What's it? Recorder HQ. Friday. Recorder HQ. Pause. Stop. Pause. Button. Speech off. The 3rd of May. And yet no one's answering the bloody phone. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. Shot. I don't have a clue. And I'm going to ring the fucking dentist and bloody yum. Next Thursday, I'm going to go to that place at, um, what's her name? Uh, Fairfield Road. <coughs> I'm going to look on Google Maps and I'm going to get my support worker to take me there. And then I'm going to ring up the psychology services and I'm going to organise getting appointments with my 
psychologist um yeah because I want to speak to her a couple more times at least and I can use that 10 visits per year for the mental health plan which is quite a lot to be honest 10 visits I can use them and just see how I go with that and hope for the best what I'm really surprised about is why podiatry this is really bullshit under Medicare you only get five free visits with a podiatrist every year before you have to pay yet for a mental health plan under Medicare you get you get bloody 10 visits with a psychologist I'm like oh god I cannot work that out but anyway I just uh, I don't know I don't know not work out very much lately because of this shit in this world getting worse absolute shit in this world and I just can't understand any of it On. Recorder settings dimmed button. Recorder age 19 a.m. Orientation locked. Speech off. I should probably put my braille watch on, I think, but hmm, anyway. Oh well. <laughs> that little bowl of. Cocoa Pops was very nice. <clears throat> A little cup of coffee, yum. Wonder how that orange juice is, I could drink the rest of that. I reckon brown sugar's much oh that's right I meant to put brown sugar in my um oh shit in my next shopping list I oh, didn't think of that brown sugar and white sugar I like those two I don't know white sugar's good for coffee and brown sugar's good for other things it doesn't matter really it really doesn't matter I think white sugar's better because brown sugar's got moisture and it's I don't think it's as refined as white sugar they process the sugar so that it's dry and crystalline but the brown sugar is crystalline with a bit of moisture in it so it's still partially um, what's the word I don't know the word partially um I don't have a clue what the word is. I'm not an agriculturalist, so I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Guys, you've got a really stupid person talking here. <laughs> I'm no good with agriculture or bloody horticulture or bloody medical shit. I wouldn't have a clue. <coughs> wouldn't have the bloody faintest idea. Uh Oh well, uh, on that note, I, oh Jesus, I don't know what's going on with VA today, I don't have a clue, uh, oh shit, um, I could go into Vision, Vision Australia, but I won't, maybe no one's in today, I'll have to try them again on Monday, oh Jesus, I think Thursday will be my regular routine Vision Australia day, I think. <laughs> Always going in there.
that's how loud the freight train is. That is a freight train. And it's gone. So sometimes the noise of that train can last a bit longer if it's a long, you know, train of um, multiple carriages. Oh, well, there we go. It's, it is a long train. The motor noise of the engine goes by and then the rest of the carriages rumble by. Rumble, rumble. Ah, <sighs> oh, right. Well. <clears throat> And now it's nice and peaceful and quiet. Aeroplane. Mm -mm. <coughs> <coughs> well, I guess I've got nothing else to say at the moment. And I've eaten breakfast and uh, so yeah, I'll be back soon to continue this recording, I think. Yes, I will be. iPhone microphone. Speech off. <clears throat> Oh, hello! 
Hey. Yes. Hey, I'm just wanna. Oh, hang on. Oh, you're doing cleaning in that jar? Uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, you know, the going out. Yeah. Uh, you know. Oh, so you've got a clean house to come to? Yeah, yeah. Do you know if you'll be home at one or two or three? Yeah. Yeah, we will be, yes. Oh. Yeah. We're only going to the, um, the dock duck for the needle. Yeah. And then, uh, then... Um, we had to fill out the form for the care plan. You know, oh, yeah. For the... Why are you worrying about your care plan? I know, uh, but... What was this form? The form, uh, we... we you know what we're talking about? Sending it to the... the uh, we've already got the form, I've just got to send it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But anyway... Because well, I was... No, Jono, I was thinking of meeting you back at your unit at whatever time. Oh, yeah, but... Not um, I, not in your back pocket, bloody, just I, I, I try and that. annoy you when your carers bring you home. I, I mean, yeah, I know. what I time? Know. Yeah, what time? What time are we going? Well, your doctor's appointment goes till 11.30. Yeah, yeah what time are we going now? Oh, we're not leaving for the doctor. Okay, you want to just come in and have a coffee or? Yeah, I won't have that? a coffee, but I'll come in. Hey. I'll have a coffee later this afternoon when I come up here, Joe. Okay, oh, yeah. Yes. Because that's what I was trying to ask is when is a safe time for me to come home yeah, yeah, yeah. so that I'm not under your support workers' feet this afternoon? Yeah. About three? Yeah. All right, because I'll come up here for a bit and then I'll walk to the shops and stay there for a few hours at the library and that. Yeah, yeah. And, um... I love his shorts. Yeah, they're from Rockland Zoo. Lovely. I love his yeah, style. I'll be getting my um, Vision Australia worker to take me to a few places yeah, actually. Rockman's yeah. and Rockman's a bit of a walk along at the river at South Bank and things like that. Okay. That's what we yep. should do, um, Sammy. Go to South Bank? Go to South Bank, you know? Sure. With um, uh, TJ. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, her name is Toby, but her nickname is... She doesn't like her name. She likes people to call her TJ. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's my other carer from Monday, Michelle. Oh, good. But when Sammy going to bowls, I got, I got the other. Oh, you'd rather go with the support worker than go to bowls. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, no. I have nothing to do there. Um. Just, no. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I've got nothing to do there, you know, I'm just sitting there and... Oh, well, was the other big boy? I'm just, hey, playing. sorry, not this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you not know, having a laugh while I just did, you know? Yep. Oh. So how have you been? Oh, I've been all right, actually. Yeah, good. Contemplating on whether I should have a flu shot or not. Oh, I'm yeah. really contemplating that because I don't know what type of flu strain it's going to protect against and yeah, I, yeah. I don't understand at all. I'm getting the flu needle. <laughs> Your immune system's a bit low. Yeah, so is my own. But I don't know what state my immunity is at because I'm getting less and less cr like... Oh, I don't know how to say it. I'm getting over colds quicker than I used to get over them. Oh, yeah, and I need to get my risk assessed for um, the way I was really crook last year and really crook the year before that. Mm. Could that deteriorate? Meaning could the flu that gets around to me, could that get worse and worse each year for me? I don't know that yet. No. I've got to ask questions. Yeah. Well, they're the questions I don't have answers to. <laughs> And I'm being given mixed opinions about the flu needle. Some okay, people are saying I should have it. So much different opinions about it. Well, I've been asked yesterday, why do you want the flu needle that only gets rid of one strain of flu? And I thought, well, why should I have a tetanus needle? Because I don't want to ha get tetanus. Yeah. And the strain of flu that it works against is meant to be fatal or something. It can be, yeah. Uh... It is 10 o'clock. Oh, I heard 10 well, oh, no, no, my clock. Oh, your clock says 10 o'clock, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, did it, um, that's the right time, Mum, um, sorry? 
Oh, yum. No, it's a bit quick. It's a minute fast, Jono. It's about 30 seconds out of... No, it's all right. right? It's 30 seconds fast. Oh, wait. It's fine. You only buy 30 seconds. That's <laughs> not fast. Oh, no I went to the Ronda last night. Yeah, it was good. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Me, me and... Uh, you should go there next Thursday. Okay. All right. What, are you going to go for dinner? Yeah, here we are, yeah. Yeah, cool. Every Thursday. Well, if you want to go every yeah, Thursday I do, night. I do, I do, I like the dinner there, you know? Yeah. Or, or you could... It's more relaxed when you don't go to the buffet, hey? Oh, I'm just, so you sort of, you, you, um, I don't know, I'm so, you yeah. just you give you the meal, right? Yeah. Give you a meal and save me getting, getting up and getting um, meals, the, you know? Yeah, the buffet one. Yeah. I take support workers to the buffets because they can see what they're doing properly they and you, yeah. they're very coordinated. John, o, I think you can't see properly, hey, John? Like oh, yeah. you can see I went down with Wayne and John o on um, um, Anzac Day. Yeah. The food was really nice in that buffet, thing. Oh, it is nice. It's just you need, yeah. Yeah, support. I'm not support. Because, I mean, no. like, there's a lot of, like, curries and stuff, but you can't tell... Without reading the things, what meat is in it? Oh, okay. I'm I'm a seafood person. I eat anything. Oh I yeah. Eat bloody yeah. rubbish and ev- everything. <laughs> I eat rubbish and everything. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what's that? Uh, just rubbish. Yeah, yeah. But what? Sorry, I'm just sweeping at your feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, all right. I have to be um not assessed every five minutes, but just occasionally because I eat anything and everything. Yep. There are a few things I really don't like, but I like almost everything else. Me too. To the, fussy. to the point that if if I don't know something about an exotic vegetable or something, I could eat it raw when it's meant to be cooked, or I could oh, eat yep, it yep. like I wouldn't know unless it's too late. Yep. So I have to be examined occasionally just to make sure I'm eating food properly. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, but obviously not very often because it's not as if I um, eat raw almonds at the supermarket just because, I don't know, some people like raw almonds. I do. Oh, yeah. uh, no. You're full of cyanide and you don't know what level of sensitivity you've got until you start to collapse like you would know when you're sick but by then it's late too late yeah yeah so i'm really i'm on a really strict diet at the moment so i don't eat any of the good stuff anyway oh dear um Um, what color what color is um um, toby's hair color it's purple blonde and purple so you know how mine's black on the top and green at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hers is blonde at the top and bright colour. Oh, okay, all right. But when I think, uh, I, um, Michelle here knows your mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but... Yeah. I know is a lot. She, 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 no, she doesn't be cleaning at your house. She's cleaning at someone else's house, right? Oh, Alison. Oh, Alison. Uh, where's your mop bucket, John? It is outside, um, I think. Um. Now, Wayne's in It's my roast, and, uh, and you can have some too, Michelle. All right. It, it is, there's about five of us having it. <laughs> Good. Then I'll be coming up here at about in three. Yeah. All right. Ah. Oh, we're going to the library for a couple of hours anyway, and then um, we'll see where you are, Jono, and I'll just turn up. Oh, yeah.
Oh, Johnny's run off again. Here. Oh. She's rubbing the floor. Well, I might get going, um, Zoe. Yeah. I'm going to walk to the library and there's not much I'm doing around here just besides sitting and talking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm off. Can and, um, oh, I don't know. I reckon it's 3 o'clock, but it depends if Jono... Um, rings me or I ring him up and find out that he's here earlier I'll just come yeah, home early. earlier. We should be back around one. Oh right. I think, yeah. Even, oh. even before that, like when you go to the doctor and then to Target. So oh yeah, all right then. Yeah, I'm going to buy some colouring books. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. See you. See ya. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Michelle. Alright, she's walking off to the library. I'll be back around one o'clock, John. Okay, yeah. And no, that, because you um, have lunch in my hour, so you'll. Well, I'll, I'll have I'll have a meal when you get roast cooked. Um, no, not lunch. I mean tea. You know? Yeah, I'll have tea at your house, John. Okay, alright. I'll be turning up around. What's the time? It's ten. Ten. Eleven, twelve. I'm probably going to leave the library at about 12 o'clock anyway. I'm going to be there for a few hours. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, thanks. Okay, Jono.
Hello.
Hi, just to a table, yes, yeah, so I can sit down and get a bro out and <laughs> read and we'll go the long way. All right. Okay. Sorry, Danny. Oh, what was that? Uh, that was a chair. Oh. All right. So there's a chair here, there. So okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. All right. I'll be okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah. 